Hey folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. We are going on an adventure today. So uh, as you can see, we have a new piece here in the Green Iron Garage. And uh, this is the one I talked about a couple videos going back. So this is a 1942 uh, M1 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. And uh, we're gonna get restoring on this. So. On this episode, we're going to go recover the, the cannon. Not only are we going to recover one, but we're going to recover two of them. Because there are actually two on site. Um, I'm going to restore the one, and my friend Cal is going to restore the other. So we are actually, uh, on behalf of the local American Legion, where these were on display. So we are going to do the restorations on their behalf. And then we volunteered to be able to take these and carry them in the parades, take them behind the vehicles, uh, take them out and about to where the public can see them and understand that they represent the American Legion and uh, you know, hopefully help uh, this American Legion Hall recruit new members. So that's all we got in store for you. So sit back as we go ahead and recover these two cannons and like always please give us a like leave a comment if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please make sure to check out the link down below for all the green iron coolness in the merchandise store so we have our hats t-shirts sweatshirts all kinds of cool stuff in that merchandise store so check that out and like always thanks for watching
Okay, as you can see, we do have this cannon here in my garage. We were able to get it here, get it offloaded, and uh, in the garage with no problems. Uh, my friend Jim used his big four-wheel drive tractor, and we, you know, were able to pull these up the hill uh, out to the main parking lot where we could then load them on my trailer. Uh, luckily, on both cannons, the wheels still actually turn, which was amazing. Uh, of course, the tires are flat, and uh, they are rotten. Uh, matter of fact, this one over here is, is coming apart in all kinds of different places, and and chunking out um, but you know the wheels did turn that was a good thing uh, made it nice and easy because we were afraid we were gonna have to sling lift the cannons to get them up and up the hill but uh, that didn't make it easy uh, one of the things I did when I got back here to the garage is I hit some PB blaster around all these lug nuts and uh, I actually threw the breaker bar on them the other day just to just to check to make sure that uh, after sitting for 70 plus years that uh, these lug nuts are going to come off easy. And every single lug nut broke loose pretty easily with very minimal effort. And uh, we were able to, uh, should make it nice and easy for them to come off. I can then get these wheels off, get them broken down and uh, replace out the tires. Of course, while we have the wheels apart we'll probably uh sandblast them and put some fresh paint on them and take care of stuff like that once i get the wheels a set of wheels on it so that it rolls easy um uh, plan on getting it outside here in the garage and uh this thing needs a good serious power wash um it's been sitting for as far as anybody can remember um uh, these cannons have been sitting at the Legion uh, since the early mid fifties and uh, they have been sitting there and haven't moved since. So uh, I was quite pleased that the wheels turned, uh, which will make that a little bit easier, but uh, there is a lot of buildup and gunk and you know, every little nook and cranny has, you know, debris down in it. Um, you know, there's leaves and rocks and, you know, just. Just everywhere around this. And so this thing's going to need a good heavy power wash. Um. And of course, one of the things I want to do is I want to be able to tilt the barrel down and stick the power washer up the barrel and just flush out any junk that's in that barrel. Uh, God knows what's in there. Uh, I imagine, you know, with the gravel, I imagine kids have put handfuls of gravel down there over the years. Uh, I imagine there's probably been birds' nests, wasp nests. Dirty old leaves, you name it, probably been stuffed down in there. So uh, we want to just try and clean that out as much as possible. Um, I would like to um, get the mechanism working so that we can split the legs. So we'll work on stuff like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that is complete. Uh, you know, the breech is welded. And it does have a hole drilled in the breech uh, to prevent anybody from using it ever again as a firing weapon. Uh, one of the things we're missing, we're missing the sighting scope. Um, so I might just have to try and build something that looks like a sighting scope. Uh, and of course, this lever here, which originally opened the uh, sighting window, as you can see, it's all bent and mangled around uh, where somebody is beat on that. So we'll take that all apart and try and straighten that out some and uh, see if we can get that working. Uh, you know, the elevation doesn't seem to work. Uh, it is probably just frozen up with everything. 
Um, so we'll just, you know, slowly pick away at some stuff like that. Um, and as you can see by the flaking paint, you know, there's several layers of paint. This thing's been repainted a couple times. And uh, you can see some of the dark green, some of the more medium green, and then this this top green, uh, which I imagine was probably painted, you know, somewhere along its life at the Legion. And, uh, you know, so we will, we will work on, you know, getting this thing sandblasted down and ready for paint. And uh, this thing should, should, should make a real nice display piece and be perfect for uh, towing behind the vehicles in parades and showing off for the American Legion. That's what the whole purpose is. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching along and uh, checking out this episode of Green Iron TV. And if you have any questions or if you have any knowledge on these M1 57 millimeter anti-tank guns, um, if you have any technical drawings, uh, maintenance manuals, even just cool documents with them about them. Uh, I would love to hear from you. I have done some searching on the internet and there doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there about these. So I would like to try and find some more. So if you have some of that information, please let me know. I'd like to get with you and, uh, hopefully be able to, uh, acquire some of that stuff. And uh, be able to figure out, you know, and it, A, this is never going to be a working restoration. Uh, this is going to be a display restoration. Uh, we want to just basically get this thing stripped down, preserve what we can preserve, and, uh, you know, get it back in good paint. Uh, make sure the wheels are rolling good, have good tires on it, and uh, be able to tow it in parades. So that's the big main goal. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching along as we uh, start this journey. And of course, like always, please give us a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please, please hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss all the work we got going on with this cannon. So this should turn into a really neat piece. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And... Have a great day.